the shapes honed out of stone by a master. Dominic Welsh has a sincerity of feeling which emanates through his sculpture. Well, we're a thousand feet on the edge of Dartmoor in um, this sort of glorious woodland environment and I've moved my shed up into the woodshed here um, to work on some smaller pieces. Now internationally renowned, Dominic started sculpting more than 30 years ago. The size of these works allows the scope to develop ideas within him for a long time. My work falls into you know, several different groups, all within a general sort of fairly simple organic abstract theme. So uh, you know, the, the, the discs, I mean, this is probably the smallest one I've made, it's quite exciting to work on this scale. But I, scale, but I made them, you know, up to a metre and a half diameter in the past. So I get my discs and then the, the, the more serene teardrop shapes with just the very simple lines on. That's quite exciting. Dominic's drawings determine the shapes of the work, rooted in the natural world. These are ideas for larger works, but they're also sculptures in their own right. And then the, these are probably forms I've been working on for longest, the more embryonic natural forms. Um, I find myself, I, I keep returning to them, because um, they're just, they're fun to make. Uh, and then, and then behind me, you can see the, these sort of uh, more uh, fishy shapes, for want of a better word, with a bit of sort of twist and turn and uplift in them. And I've carved on quite sort of naturally with some air tools to give them a bit of life. So they're 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 probably the newest group of work. Dominic stones of choice are white Carrara marble, Ancaster weatherbed darker Kilkenny limestone, lunar rosa marble and bronze. This studio in Devon is ideally suited for smaller subject matter. Bigger pieces are created in a nearby hangar and for many years the stone to make them has been left idle waiting for this moment. Something long talked about with dealer David Messam. Here's my new little workshop at home in the woodshed. So come in and have a look. Yeah, thank you. So this thank is you. this is a sort of new rising form meditation stone piece. I'm just working on all these lines. Yeah, you can just you just begin to feel them here, can't you? Actually, and, uh, yeah. once you work those out, it's what gives these pieces such a wonderful sort of spiritual quality, isn't it? Well, it is breathing wrong. breathing life yeah. into the form at, yeah. at the end. Yeah. This is the first time uh, that he's really concentrated on doing these small pieces. And I think um, the exciting thing about them is that um, I think for people who are interested in his work, and there's a lot of those, um, you can get much more closer to the smaller pieces. And so, to some extent, they're a catalyst for something bigger. I, I know with clients when they see what, some of his monumental pieces, they think, my goodness, how, how am I going to get it home? Where's it going to go? That sort of thing. Um, so to get people engaged in, 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 in his work, um, I think these are going to be very exciting. I think all of Dom's pieces are, are very uplifting, if you like, and so this, this piece here, um, I think it's rather like a sort of champagne flute, if you like. Actually, we've got these wonderful bubbles going up. They're not, of course, they're just marks into the marble, but if you know, it's got a great spirit to it. Uh, and that's what you'll find in all Dom's work. Um, there's the embryonic forms, which are easier to uh, associate, but these lifting forms and teardrops and things like that uh, are all very uplifting pieces, I think, and a joy to live with, whether they're out in the open or whether you can sight them in, inside. The detail of finishing is intricate. Filing and sanding before the sculpture really comes to life when finished, truly complete and set within its surroundings. It does give people pleasure if they, you know, have a small piece in their garden or in a corner of a room at home and it gives them a moment to, you know, appreciate um, 
you know, another person's process without particularly knowing what it's about or who they are, but it, it can take you to another place and I think that's quite important for people at all times.